We're moving from that beauty that we've created over 26 years to that beautiful van, which we've been creating for the last two years. I want less stuff and more experience. Yeah. That's what this so means for me. Panning through the house as the sun comes up, it's a very strange morning knowing this is my last sunrise at this house. We will always love this place. Every child's party from three and five to 21. Our wedding, right down there. But it's time to move on. And we might be leaving this beautiful home, but we've got the whole of South Africa as a garden in front of us from here forward. Saying goodbye and selling up was one of the hardest things we have ever done. Mom's gonna miss you, Ams. Yeah, you're gonna be okay, girl. But at the same time, a huge relief as it had become a very heavy burden. That's me. Game on, people. We lived in a home for 26 years, which became our project of beautification. Every area of this property transformed. Our chef-style kitchen, our indigenous garden, a yoga studio, three apartments, and much, much more. Here we have our beautiful view of Durban. This is my favorite part is all of this nature right is a part of their there. home. And there's a secret or a cottage there. It's just a sacred space. Every project completed with such love for a home that we could raise our girls in with every birthday until they were 21. So Ken's touching his last bag that his wife was shouting him out to pack. Right Ken here. shit is out, out the bathroom. Ken has not been well over the last few years. Medically boarded is physically disabled. His chronic leg infections became really bad at the beginning of the pandemic. During this process, they found cancer. So he was having to deal with chemo as well. The blows just kept coming. And ironically, the pandemic was the last of our problems. During this time, our business was hit hard by one large non-payment, which took us to our knees. We had no choice. We knew keeping our home was now not an option. And so with our backs against the wall, we put our home on the market. We were totally beaten. We surrendered to the inevitable. We surrendered not knowing what our next move would be. During Ken's cancer treatments, we began watching YouTube van life episodes. Most were young and beautiful, 20-something year olds. But we noticed others on the older side too, which gave us a little hope. After years of responsibility, owning businesses and raising children, we longed for freedom. We longed for a complete change. We longed for the carefree life we watched night after night. So would it be a retirement home, a frail care facility, or life without a permanent address on the road with no guarantees of sturdy brick walls, just the promise of experience with less stuff to take care of? We began nervously to consider this type of life for ourselves. Now it was time to move even deeper into surrender. I've been teaching this philosophy in my yoga classes for years and now I had to put it into practice and live by it. Leaving my precious yoga sanctuary was the hardest of all. I love teaching peace and I had spent 20 years serving the needs of this beautiful space and community. There's so many aspects of this that I'm going to really miss. The teaching, the community, what this place represented. But in many ways, I'm really ready to let it go after 20 years. So it's a real dichotomy of feeling because it's not all one thing. It's not all I really want to stay because I, I, don't, I think my time here has been and done. What I came to do happened. It, it transpired and now it's time to move on. This place had held my heart for over 20 years and now it was time to say goodbye. Who would I be without it all? 
Was this place who I was? Did it hold all my dreams and would I find new passions and new dreams? I had found such a comfort over the years of my practice, but all of a sudden I could not find this peace as my mind tried to overthink my way out of the mess we were in. Fight or flight, adrenaline was pumping through my veins. Here I was teaching present moment philosophy while my own present moment was pure hell. I had to reframe my entire life, leave behind all I had built, loved and held dear. What had worked for me in the past was no longer working. It was time for a complete overhaul of who and what I thought I was and what worked and what no longer served me. Choosing to let it all go instead of breaking ourselves into a million pieces to keep it. We had made our choice and so we had to put our hands in the air and trust life itself. Our quest for a simpler, more sustainable lifestyle with a much smaller budget had begun. It was a choice. Yeah. It was a choice. It was definitely a choice. The thought of a retirement home scared the life out of me. So <laughs> I'd rather do this any day than stuck in a, a, a four by two, two bit retirement home with everybody else doddering around. I'm not interested.